Hello students, welcome to my virtual class. Today we will cover chapter 1 that is environment. The topics that we are going to cover is 1. Introduction 2nd meaning of environment 3rd components of the environment 4th threats to our environment and 5th biotic and abiotic rest of the topics will cover in the next session so first of all let us understand what is environment environment is a fairly common term i'm sure you all have heard it whatever we see in our environment makes the environment for example, table, chair, school, car, parks, newspaper, mountains, rivers, etc. Let us understand what is the meaning of environment. Environment means the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal or a plant lives or operates in. Or environment is the place, people, things and nature that surround any living organism. It is a combination of natural and the human made resources. Let us now understand what are the components of environment. So our environment consists of three components natural, man made and human. The natural environment consists of all the natural surroundings for example air, water, land and all the other living things. On the other hand Man-made environment consists of all the things that are made by human beings. For example, buildings, parks, bridges, roads, monuments and all the industries. While the human environment consists of all the human related values and the beliefs. For example, an individual, family, community, religion, education, political situation and economic scenarios. Threats to environment. Threats to environment means anything that can disturb our natural environment. For instance, man-made things such as fumes are polluting the air. Land is being consumed to build factories and homes for human population. And industrial waste is being discharged into our rivers and other water resources. And as a result, our natural environment is now disturbed. Our air and water are now polluted with toxins and the green forests that once used to exist are no longer there. Moving on to the next topic that is biotic versus abiotic environment that is living and non-living environment. Now let us try to understand the basic difference between the biotic and the abiotic environment. Biotic they use or consume the energy to stay alive. On the other hand abiotic they are not alive. Biotic forms they reproduce, abiotic they do not reproduce. Biotic contains cells and DNA, abiotic they do not contain any cells. Biotic they respond to environment, abiotic they do not react to stimulus. Biotic they grow and develop, abiotic they stay the same they do not grow. Some of the examples for biotic forms would be humans, your animals, all plants and fungi and all the microorganisms such as bacteria. Some examples for abiotic forms would be water, rock, air, nitrogen, cloud and ice. A quick exercise for you to distinguish between the two would be just look around your environment and try to point out what are the biotic forms around you and what are the abiotic forms around you. And that is all for today. We will continue with the remaining topics tomorrow. Thank you for joining this session. I hope to see you all soon. Bye bye. Take care.